Unit 140. Tobacco. Do you want to go out for dinner tonight? I'll treat you. I shouldn't go. If I go for dinner with you, I'll smoke. And I'm fed up with smoking. But I'm not inviting you to smoke. I'm inviting you to eat. If we eat, we'll drink. And if I drink, I'm sure to smoke. And I'm tired of repeating the same process all the time. I quit smoking for a few days until I go out for dinner and then I start again. I've been trying to quit smoking for 20 years. You should go to the doctor to find a cure. Or you should smoke less. Impossible. It's all or nothing. And I've been to all kinds of doctors. And they haven't been able to help you? All methods are good. On some occasions, I managed to stop smoking for a year. But then, I just took a single puff from someone's cigarette and I started again. Which methods have you tried? The most embarrassing one was when I went to Glasgow by plane. Because someone told me that there was a doctor that hypnotized you and that took away your desire for smoking completely. Oh, and what happened? When I was laying on the couch by myself, with him, and I noticed that he was hypnotizing me, I was afraid and I resisted. You were able to resist hypnosis? Well, not completely. But the effect of the treatment was small. In spite of that, I went for some months without smoking. I suppose I didn't smoke because I spent 500 pounds between airfare, lodging and the doctor. And I thought it would be silly to start smoking again. What a story! Later, I discovered a cheaper method. Whenever I started to feel like smoking, I began running. I would run 100 or 200 meters very fast. And then I started puffing and panting. And so I didn't feel like smoking. Really? I've never heard of that before. I have to patent it. After that, I stopped smoking thanks to nicotine chewing gum. I was so keen on chewing it that I needed it more than tobacco. I spent a whole year putting nicotine inside my body thanks to the chewing gum. But you were still hooked on nicotine. Of course. You are too much, Albert. Quit smoking once and for all. You'll be much healthier. Aren't you afraid of getting ill? Well, as I've spent my whole life trying to quit smoking, I suppose I've just smoked 50% of the time. And the rest of the time, I've allowed my lungs to rest. But it can't be good to make your body go through those kinds of changes either. I had already thought of that. But my body is used to changing. Stop changing, Albert. You're coming out with me for dinner tonight, and for the first time, you'll go to bed proud of drinking alcohol without smoking. You don't need to smoke when you drink a toast to somebody. And who are we going to drink a toast to? To the new Albert, who has overcome his dependence on tobacco and who is going to be a healthy man from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!